up, guys? I hope you are well. Chadio here. As you know, I've wrapped up, you know, the two Ronnie sketches. But I thought about it and I'm like, you know, I'm not done with Ronnie Barker yet. So we are starting to check out Open All Hours with Ronnie Barker in it. And we're going to start out with Series 1, Episode 1. Let's get into it, shall we? I'm very excited about this, by the way. I can't wait. friend look at that the uh, granville uh, uh, fetch your cloth the swallows are leaving granville and they're uh, leaving it all over our window get it off <laughs> <laughs> Granville, Nurse Gladys Emanuel, with her black bag neatly laundered and her blouse tightly packed. <laughs> Rushing away to someone's bedside? Uh, one day, with any luck, it might be mine. <laughs> so not, she's a midwife. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's good. a flaming mouse. <laughs> what gets me is if, if he can move like that, well, why hasn't he got a number on his jersey? <laughs> He's faster than you are. Well, I know that, don't I? But that's no good hanging around here wait, waiting for a cheese-eating tortoise, is it? <laughs> Come on, help me get these tins picked up. You realise it's half past six? Hey, yeah, there'd be some silly fool still in bed. <laughs> I mean, you can't believe it, can you? Well, they could be down here, you know, having a ball with all these old tins. Listen, Granville, just remember that as my nephew, all these old tins will be yours, you know, when I'm gone. Ah, oh, yes, but will I be able to withstand the notoriety? <laughs> I mean, they'll be nudging each other when I walk down the street. And they'll be saying, Oh, up there he goes. You see him? Well, you wouldn't believe it to look at him, but he's rolling in old tins. <laughs> <laughs> see, there's no labels on these tins. Well, we don't know that, do we? They, they might be on the inside. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That Mystery is ingenious. Case. Well, it would stop them falling off, wouldn't it, and, and finishing up like this with no labels on them. <laughs> you all that stuff, you got that rotten auction, all that fire damage stock, isn't it? The fair price was right. How do you know the price was right if you don't know what's in them? Because my hand automatically started to bid. I've got a flair for this sort of work, you know. When I'm on the threshold of a reasonable profit, a, a, a razor-sharp instinct takes over. I'm under the control of something powerful but, but, but primitive. <clears throat> Like the VAT inspector. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wonder what's in them. That well, is. that's the beauty of it, isn't it? They're full of mysterious promise, aren't they? They're a bit like uh, Gladys Emanuel's blouse, you know them. <laughs> <laughs> Only a damn sight easier to open, I can tell you. <laughs> Look, don't you worry about what's in them. Let me worry about what's in them. I haven't been in this trade all my life without de developing an ear, you know. Peaches. Man, Mulligatawny and Leek. <laughs> Morning, Granville. <laughs> Morning, Gloria. Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, 
that fetch your claw. You know, during the war, Herbert Ogden spent a whole week's wages on a land girl with a wiggle like that. Oh, eh? From Darlington. <laughs> All he got were a, a, a tip on what to do with his broccoli. <laughs> I, hope, I hope she's back. <clears throat> I'll just uh, wander, uh, wander over casually. Horny old bastard. You were out early this morning, Gladys Emanuel, fresh from your little lonely warm bed. I never said it was lonely. Don't oh. you ever make a wish that you'd wake up one morning and find a handsome little local shopkeeper in it? No. <laughs> time is passing us by, you know. It's no longer springtime. Why don't we get engaged before we both got a moustache? <laughs> well, I can still look at your legs without thinking about orthopedic shoes. <laughs> Come on. Let's strike while the iron's still lukewarm. <laughs> I can't get engaged right now. In half an hour, I've got to go to Charnley Street and have a baby. Listen, why don't you come over one night and, and, and rub me chest with Vic? Hey. <laughs> you know, to tell you the truth, I've been thinking a lot about us two lately. Not the same as actually doing it, though, is it? <laughs> you know, I don't know why some folks say, let the devil take the iron most. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, he can get in the queue. <laughs> How can I be sure you really fancy me? that you're not just trying to stop me order going to the supermarket round the corner. I want you to marry me, Gladys Emanuel. There's nobody appreciates your shape more than a member of the Gay Grocers Federation. I wonder what it would look like with a bit of parsley around. <laughs> You'll stop at nothing, will you? You shower me with gifts. Last time, it was half a pound of butter, way past its expiry date. <laughs> we were meant for each other. A man with a chest stutter needs a big target to make love to. <laughs> what a tongue he's got. Who cleans the nipples on your windscreen watches for you? <laughs> I do. Me, devoted Arkwright. Have you no words of encouragement for me at all? Nope. Save me a small brown loaf, unsliced, and two large tea cakes. I've got one reservation. Oh, have you? What's that? Well, you have to promise to wear someone a bit, a bit more playful than them. <laughs> oh, you cheeky thing, them be mothers. <laughs> yes, she showed me the baby last week. I don't think it's his. Oh. It looks more like him that comes to read the meter. Well, they're in some uh, very awkward places, them meters, you know. <laughs> he knows his way around. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, well, that reminds me, Mrs. Blewett. We've got some uh, very, very good value in tin food this morning. What is it? This one? Well, that's a... Uh, <laughs> it's very good value, Mrs Blewett. Yeah. It's no use to me. I'm not looking for things I can keep. Oh, well, that's just as well with your husband uh, popping off quickly like he did. We never know when we'll be taken or whither is our destination. No, still, I should have thought he'd have had some idea, him being the Shasharabang driver. <laughs> I've seen them taken in the fullness and the pride. Oh, I know. Well, one minute they're on top of the world, oh, and the next minute there's this awful figure in black beckoning them towards the breathalyzer. <laughs> Did you know they buried old Scrooby last Tuesday? Old Scrooby, old Scrooby, old Scrooby. Did they? Oh, what? I didn't know he died. Neither did she. Oh. He sat there on the settee for three hours staring at her. <laughs> he never was very talkative, though, was he? <laughs> no, I mean, he wasn't. I once ran over him on the shop bike, right across his foot, and he never said a word. <laughs> he just hit me with his crutch. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't my fault. I just came round the corner, and there he was, trying to strangle this kid. Oh, yes, he always knew how to command respect in the young, I'll say that. <laughs> And he looks like death across at number 29. Oh, dear. 
They come at nine o'clock on Thursday night with an ambulance and took him away. They're all expecting him back, but I told her. He looks yellow to me. That means kidneys. I wouldn't give you a tuppence for his kidneys. How much is your boiled ham? <laughs> Well, it's a, it's a bit more expensive than his kidneys. <laughs> but it's a bit of choice stuff there. They, they'll never take that away in an ambulance. I'll have a quarter. Right, I, th I think you'll enjoy it, Mrs. Blewett. Aye, I, I expect so. Hey, yeah. and speaking of a bit of choice stuff, have you seen her round at 87 lately? 87? What? Isn't she the one with the. Uh... That's the one, yeah. yes. How is that new lodger? Not as fit as she is. I wonder how the husband's taking it. Well, very infrequently by the sound of it. <laughs> Her at 85 said she's heard them playing Scrabble till gone midnight. Oh, dear. Well, there's no good will come of that. I mean, that sort of thing's bound to finish up in a, in a, in a four-letter word, isn't it? <laughs> well. I mean, have you ever known her interested in spelling before? When she sent me that vicious letter, she spelt nosy and nosy old bag with a Z. <laughs> he never did, did. Hey, would you my mind not stop taking through my legs, please? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there anything else then, Mrs. Zibluey? Ah, uh, there was a lot, but nothing I could repeat to you. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that'll be a 97p, love. Thank you. Oh, uh, uh, don't bother about the 3P. You, you can owe it me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <clears throat> get, get that in the till quick before she realises she's been dumb. <laughs> I wish you'd put it in. You know I'm terrified of that spring clip. Jeez. So much for to teach her. yourself Kung Fu. 98 weekly parts. <laughs> if you ask me, you've got more weekly parts now than when you started. <laughs> hey, who was that raver that Mrs Blewett was on about? You know her at number 87. Now, listen, I don't want you thinking about number 87. You keep right away from number 87. I've, I've seen Negroes going in there and coming out looking quite pale. <laughs> I mean, her mother was just the same, you know. During the war, I had to admonish her in front of the entire street when I was an air aid warden. She was uh, showing a couple of chicks in her upper story. <laughs> oh, yes. During the war, everyone was the same. You know, ordinary people went ga 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 ga, -ga. <laughs> Wish I had a bit of frenzy in my life. Well, keep your fingers crossed. Maybe you'll get that mouse up your trouser leg. <laughs> you think I'll ever find the time to get married? Why bother, eh? Why bother? Your father never did. Oh. <laughs> Mother said that he died in an accident. I think he just used that as an excuse. <laughs> now, come on, give me that pound note and let's get it in the till before it fades. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> hey, that reminds me, Jaws is on this week at the Audion. How do, Granville? How do, Gloria? Oh, ha, ha. Go, Granville, fetch your cloth and wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know you're born. Don't know much about what causes it, either. <laughs> do you know that the things were so hard in my day that people from Bradford used to go looking for work in Pakistan? <laughs> <laughs> but what is the point of being on the threshold of life if you've always got to wear a flaming penny? Kids should have less pocket money, that's what I say. If I could lure them into the shop a bit more often, they would have a no. <laughs> I mean, look at that Gloria. She's got no idea what I look like in trousers. <laughs> I've never had any of the things that other young men take for granted. You better not have have had either. <laughs> if I ever could catch you ever having have had, you will be in trouble. You don't seem to realise it's a grave responsibility having a nephew who keeps getting himself emotionally knotted. Well, what about you and the nurse? Oh, yes. 
You know, if I don't marry her soon, I shall have to buy a new electric blanket. <laughs> hey up, seconds out. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> The usual, Mr. Bristol. <laughs> the usual, Mr. Bristol! <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't see you coming. Uh, what do you want, the usual? I'll have the usual. Oh, <laughs> well, that's unusual. <laughs> yeah, you usually have something different, don't you? <coughs> right, one dozen. if you opened an account. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> some paper. This will be a while. <laughs> when, when Wales get home rule, yeah, do you think they'll nationalise Clive Jenkins? <laughs> One of the old ones, and it. <laughs> right. <laughs> there we are then. Lovely. There you go. Oh, wait a minute here. Don't go out without your helmet done up. Your head'll come off here. Mm. <laughs> ah. mm. There you are. Eh? My, my God. Eh? My God. Bless you. Oh, I see, yes. Mm. Well, mm. let go of them, let go oh, of them. Mm. Oh, I've got your strap done up too mm. tight, sorry. <laughs> there you are. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Ruddy Apollo 3, the plastic astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Mr. Bri... Yes, Mr. B... B... Bristow, yes. <laughs> Hey, haven't you got that tin open yet? No. Look, why don't you j j jiggle it a bit? Are you sure you know what's in this? I've told you it's beefy chunks in gravy. Beefy chunks in gravy. I called it! It's oh. Lucky I did some to dice carrots to go with it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What's for pudding? Cheese and biscuits? <laughs> Thirty-five, Lindley Road, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, eighty-seven, eighty-five, eighty-seven, eighty-seven. Uh -oh. I bet it's all a legend. I bet she's not really like that. I bet if I walk through this gate with half a pound of streaky bacon, pretending I'm mistaken the house for number eighty-five. I bet I'd be no nearer an understanding of the forces which govern the human predicament. Winston, what's she got you doing now? I'm building another blinking bookcase, aren't I? Oh, it's a wonderful mind-broadening thing, this second marriage of yours, isn't it? What do you want, a, a large or a small? I better have a large. Yeah. It's a big bookshelf, is it? Here you are, then. Let's have your finger. Come on. 
Ta oh, dear. Steady, Thurston. Yeah. Well, it's a good job it's not, not your drinking hand, isn't it? You must be joking. Drinking hand? What practice does that get these days? <laughs> when I tell her I feel like a drink, she says, oh, good. Now maybe you'll get on with building cocktail cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you told her you, you're a mechanical idiot? She won't listen. Do you know she wanted me to do on her honeymoon? Now you're not supposed to give away cabinet secrets, are you? <laughs> she wanted me to prove how much I loved her by redoing the bathroom with self-adhesive tiles. <laughs> self-adhesive... Have you used them? No. I was up till two o'clock trying to let go of a nighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Hey, hang on. You know what you want, don't you? You want a nice medicinal bottle. Could you use one? I could murder one. There you are, then. Have a go at that. You'll like that. Cheers. Cheers. How are you making out with the nurse? Oh, I'm progressing, you know, progressing. There, were, there was a time when she didn't even bother to ignore me. But now, only this morning, there she was, hitting me with a clothes prop. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I've had a bit of an accident. Yeah, what? I've dented my front spindle. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I, I, th I thought for the moment you'd damaged the bike. <laughs> <laughs> what happened then? Oh, I fell in Lindley Road. Oh, you wouldn't be the first one to do that. Hey, I hope you haven't been near that 87. I was just delivering the goods. I know, that's what I'm afraid of. So... <laughs> I'll get off now. What do you want for the plaster? 4p. See you again. Thanks for the drink. Oh, that's another 14 for the drink. Aye. Right. <laughs> you said have a drink. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> hey, there's, there's threepence on that bottle. <laughs> Well, uh, what, what were you doing? About five miles an hour. <laughs> no, on the proper side of the road and some silly idiot had parked a van right in the gutter. Oh, well, what a stupid place to leave it, right in the gutter. <laughs> There's lipstick on you. No. There's lipstick on you. You've been to that 87, haven't you? No. You I... have wipe it yeah. off at once. Someone in the shop now. There, how's that? Is that all right? Lovely, yes. Beautiful. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Shh! Be quiet. You got listen, mad or something? Was listen, that... you're a pawn in my dastardly game. I'll sit there. I've just got to find out. <clears throat> hey! Oh, I'm glad to see you. I'm very wor worried about the lad. He's come off his bike. What? Would you come through the back, love? You're not trying to get me in that back room under false pretenses, are you? Oh, no, as if I would. Come on. Look, he's, he's got concussion, I think. Look, there's nothing wrong with him. I keep telling you there's nothing See, wrong. listen, he's gone all incoherent. You can't get his leg. Have a look at his leg, would you? He can't have concussion in his leg. Look, I keep telling you there Just is nothing Just bite on around. that if the pain gets unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> even grazed. Well, his, his legs look very pale to me. Well, I didn't think so at all. The only time they ever go out is when I make a delivery. <laughs> As a midwife, I do know how you feel. Look, get a soak in the bath tonight, love. You'll be all Don't right. Don't stroke him. I hope you haven't come over here to, to demol him about. I've come for me love and tea cakes. He's all right. You look a bit flushed, though. You should be careful at your age. <laughs> You've been going through the change, haven't you? <laughs> In the till, I mean. Oh. <laughs> no, it, uh, to be honest, you know, it's the top of my leg, to be honest. I, we, I wish you'd have a look at the top of my leg. I'll do no such thing. Well, I'll tell you what, then I'll have a look at yours, then. <laughs> I've got me rounds to make. Oh. He's perfectly all right. But if you're really worried about him, you'd better give him 24 hours complete rest. Oh. Hey, a day in bed? What bliss! Granville tucked up in bed all day. Ah. Listen, yeah. are you deaf? Go and answer that bell. Well, I'll be talking about the shortest day. <laughs> <coughs> talking of a day in bed, uh, why don't you come over on Sunday afternoon and practice your splints and bandaging, eh? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you some cooling powders. You take two in a bath of cold water. <laughs> Listen, I've had enough cooling powders when I saw what was hanging on your clothesline this morning. Come on, I demand the plain unvarnished truth about your plain unvarnished underwear. Oh, get away from me. Come on, I'm glad he's just a little peak. 
I promise to stand well back if you'll just reveal the merest corner, eh? In an atmosphere of mutual frankness and trust. Go! Oh, get off! Go! Go! Ten surprise. Edible Pinko. <laughs> get your tickets here. That's funny. He's a peeping Tom. If she's national health, I suppose I'm entitled to a piece of her by Act of Parliament. <laughs> I reckon we, 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 we could make a go of it <coughs> once she stops hitting me in the groin. <laughs> Ooh, what's that little lacy thing she's arning? Surely she doesn't wear that on a bear bear, on a bear bear, on a bear bear, on a bingo night? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I spoke too soon. Even as she's just bear bear blowing her nose that's on it. <laughs> We ought to have a van. Yeah, well, watch your mouth. I didn't bring you up to be an atheist about money. <laughs> what time are we going to close? I'm supposed to be meeting Gloria. Pleasure mad, aren't you, eh? Pleasure mad, aren't you? Don't just stand there. Grab hold of this, as they say at number 87. <laughs> <laughs> right, now what? Well, when I give you the word, just yeah, yeah, jiggle it a bit. <laughs> That's just the point. When the time came for me to jiggle it a bit, I found I hadn't had enough experience. <laughs> I think more people should ride bicycles, Granville. In my young day, district nurses used to ride bicycles. Then there was no argument about where, what they were wearing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> oh, she's a tease. Uh, no complaints, Granville. Suddenly the world is a brighter place. Although to the casual passerby, it might appear that I seem to have my leg fast. <laughs> Why don't you just jay jay jiggle it a bit? <laughs> Are you all right? Bit of a jolt in the pedals. <laughs> Much improved psychologically. I was quite overcome by a spirit of patriotism when I saw that pretty little flag you was waving. <laughs> <laughs> what it is to be mad and middle-aged. Come indoors and let me have a look at you. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Come on, I'll read. <laughs> <laughs> In a long day. That, that's a lot of sky to be a small shopkeeper under. I wonder if there's a planet up there somewhere with another Gladys Emanuel on it, saying no repeatedly in a strange tongue. <laughs> hey, up oh, that's that Gloria he's got in the carrier. Yeah. Well, well, well. Passion on pedals. <laughs> Squeals on wheels. <laughs> At least you have to have something soft to fall on. Oh, Lord, let him increase in wisdom and experience without uh, too much pain or having to come to me for more money. I enjoyed that, guys. I really did. Funny, interesting. I'm uh, looking forward to getting more into it. <clears throat> now, it's not like the slapstick I'm used to from Ronnie Barker, but there, there's some good quips in this, and I'm... I'm looking forward to the uh, to the next episode, and I hope you guys are as well. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe, and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.